Today we're making these amazing bacon scallion baked eggs and we're doing it in a muffin tin so you can take these on the go. It's a phenomenal recipe to have on hand so let's dive into it. I always start this recipe by adding melted butter to each muffin tin and then spreading it up the side with a pastry brush. I like to give the butter time to set and create a non-stick layer so our eggs don't get stuck to the pan. Next, we dive into our prep work. This includes grating your cheese of choice, I'm using cheddar, and then finally dicing our bell pepper and green onion as well. You can really use any vegetables you have, but I like the combo of green onion, pepper, and cheddar. Now for the bacon. I highly recommend using the Smithfield Thick Cut Bacon. It's just my personal preference. But I love the flavor and I like that it's thick cut because it gives you a little bit more chew in each bite. We slice our bacon into lardones and a good tip for this is to toss your bacon into the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes to help slice through it a little easier. So now that we got everything sliced up into these little bits, we're gonna just fry them right up, right? These are gonna shrink and get super crispy. We toss our bacon into a pan and cook it gently over medium low heat. In this part of the cook, I like to keep my eye on the bacon and take it as crispy as I can without burning it. It'll give a nice little texture to our final dish. Strain the oil out of your bacon and save it because it's liquid gold. While the bacon cools, we season our eggs with garlic salt and whisk vigorously to get some air bubbles in the scramble. This will help with getting a nice lift on our eggs. Now that the bacon is cool, we mix our bell pepper, green onion, cheese, and bacon together in a bowl and spoon generous amounts of it into each muffin tin. Don't worry about making a mess here, just toss the ingredients in. And if there's any leftovers, you get to eat it. Hmm. Oh my god, that is so good. Cover with scrambled eggs right up to the top and transfer it directly to the oven. These go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes or so. After 30 minutes, we let them cool and gently pop them out with an offset spatula. And now I'll slice into it just so you can see how truly amazing this is. It's spongy, it's airy, it's light, yet it's packed full of savory flavor. Alrighty, let's see how we did. Mm. And you get these little pops of cheddar cheese, bacon. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. I hope you guys give this a try. You can meal prep it in advance. It's a phenomenal recipe to have on hand.